So I didn't grow up in the church. My family is very spiritual, specifically my grandmother, but my, I didn't grow up in the church, so I didn't go to church often. Um, my grandmother prays a lot, but we never had a home to like worship in. I still say my, said my grace, you know, before I ate, um, but that was pretty much the extent of my relationship with Christ, and, and really I just tried to do a lot of things on my own. My ex-boyfriend, um, my only boyfriend I've ever had, right? In, in college, we started dating when I was a sophomore. Um, the end of my sophomore year, we found out he had cancer. Um, and, and while I didn't have a relationship with God, I think that it made it worse because I, wasn't, I didn't understand why. Um, he was so young, so bright. Um, I didn't understand why, but he was so faithful in God. Like he, we prayed together and I just didn't understand. I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I was like, there's no way, there's no way. Like, I don't want to say God's not helping you, but like, why, why is this happening? If, if God is like here for us and you know, taking care of us, why would he put us in this situation? This is so hard for us. And so, it was really hard for me because I saw him literally like decaying and it's hard, right? When you can't do anything and you watch someone that you love, right? Just start to die. But again, he still prayed and he still thanked God for his journey. Like, and I just, I did not get it. And so when I lost him, um, I kind of went on like a, a weird like spiral of, of events where I tried to like fill a void fill the void that I missed in him um, with other people, with work, uh, with wine. <laughs> like, I just um, did whatever I could do, could do to cope with missing him and not having him with me. Um, I mean, I think that's where I realized I needed something else because I was performing for, performing to fill this void and the void ultimately was God, right? And I didn't know that at the time. So I knew I needed, I knew that there was, I knew that God was there. I just didn't trust him. And so I realized that when I went to a conference and they had an optional worship night, but I was like bawling my eyes out and I could not stop crying for the life of me and I couldn't understand what was happening. And I was just like, God is like reaching out to me. Like I felt like that was the case. I got to the point where I was at the end of myself and I did nothing that I was doing was working anymore. And I was like, there has to be more out here. There has to be another way, right? And so I bought a Bible. That was the first thing I did. <laughs> I was like, I need a real Bible because I want to highlight and stuff. Um, I started, I downloaded the Bible, uh, the Version Bible app. I looked up some plans and I'm like, okay, let's, let's just give this thing a shot. Uh, and I was going through a couple of them and I'm like, wow, this is pretty cool. Like, this, is, this, is actually, this actually works and this is better than self-help. So I didn't grow up in the church, but my mom asked to go to church with me. Like my mom asked to go to, I'm like, I'm super emotional about this because um, she doesn't go to church, she doesn't pray, no one in my family does. It's just, it's just my grandmother. And my, for my mom to ask to come to church with me, it means that. It's not me, but like God is working through me and using me as, um, as a vessel to help others. I got baptized in uh, six months ago, March, April, May, June, July, August, five months ago. Uh, <laughs> and it's been hard. It is so hard. And I'm such a performer, like I'm an executor. So it, naturally I wanted to just go back to doing what I think would be okay to make me good in God's eyes again, even though, you know, we already are, but it's just hard to like understand. It's, it's hard for me to wrap my head around the fact that God loves me even still, even still. R despite what I do, regardless what I, like no, there's nothing I can do that can stop God from loving me and that is so overwhelming. So I'm really, really excited about that. <laughs> and that's a, that's that. I think I skipped some parts of my story, but that's